version of Phillips Lighting America. How cool is this? We're standing right here next to the Times Square Ball. This is fantastic. It's beautiful, isn't it? And it's all yours. I mean, you guys do the lighting. So let's get some nitty gritty first. Sure. How many lights? How much does it weigh? How big is it? How long do they stay lit? Well, this little ball is 12 feet in diameter. It weighs just under six tons. And these Waterford Triangle crystals are illuminated by over 32,000 individual LEDs. What is it about the LED lighting in particular that really makes this ball stand out? Well, first of all, it's energy efficient. So we first started illuminating the ball in 2000 with traditional conventional lighting technology. 2007 and 8, we upgraded to LED. It's 88% more energy efficient. This ball consumes the same amount of energy per hour as two traditional ovens like you'd find in your own home. So energy efficient and just brilliant and beautiful. And that, of course, is what everyone is attracted to. The lights are controlled digitally yes. on New Year's Eve. So why don't you explain how that works and, sure. and how many colors we'll actually see? Oh, well, first of all, there are, you know, like I said, 32,000 individual LEDs and they're controlled by software. The LEDs themselves are red, green, blue, and white. Now, when they're combined together, controlled with software, they create a palette of over 16 million colors, controlled remotely, creating billions of lighting effects and color scenarios. What's really cool about this year is for the first time ever, mm -hmm. you can actually download mm -hmm. an app, and if you have a Hue lighting system, you can somehow sync the ball yes. with the app. So let's yes. get some details on, on how that works. Yes. Well, we're really excited about that. So for consumers that already have the Philips Hue lighting system or those that get the lighting system, they can download an app. It's called Fireworks. There's a Times Square Ball Effects um, choice that they choose and they can sync the lights to the final two minute countdown of the ball itself. So they don't need to be amongst the million people here in Times Square. They can enjoy the excitement of the Times Square event in their own home. What are you going to do for New Year's? I will be here. I will be here in Times Square celebrating with everyone else to usher in a brand new year, a great new year. These lights actually that everyone will be fixated on and it's just, I mean, listen, if you haven't done it in Times Square, it is fun yeah. and it's, it's a great experience. But watching it at home too, and you watch this ball come down and it's a similar experience, maybe you're a little bit more comfortable, but you have this whole theory about we interact with light differently. Yeah. So there's something about watching the ball that we can extract mm -hmm. into like a broader sense of the future, I guess. Sure, sure. Well, it's about connected lighting and really the promise and potential of digital light. We're just scratching the surface. So with something like Q, yes, you can sync the lights and have the same flashing and dynamic um, environment in your own home, but you can do other things. You can sync lights to music, to games, you know, gaming. Um, turn the lights on when you drive, when you approach your home. So many wonderful things with digital light. So what's your favorite thing about this ball that you're standing next to? I think that a million people will enjoy it here and that a billion people will see it on television and it's just beautiful and I'm so proud of the team of people that work on this and bring this sort of thing to, to life. It's definitely a lot of fun. Amy Huntington, thanks so much. Thank you.